Hey guys, Brian and PS4 Trophies. And earlier I showed you guys kind of a, a way that you can farm XP, unlimited XP, uh, requiring you to repeat a quest over and over, a Radiant quest for the Brotherhood of Steel. And you were able to level up to uh, rank 50, which is the last rank you need for a trophy, and relatively quickly. Now, there is a much better way, much faster way, one you can do actually relatively early in the game and you don't need to be aligned with any faction at all. Now the way to do it is we're going to craft Molotov cocktails. What we need to do is uh, just get enough resources and we're going to actually use an exploit here to duplicate the re resources. Get enough resources and then craft a whole bunch of the Molotovs. Now what you want to do for this is to first we're going to uh, initiate a exploit here that's going to allow us to essentially get enough resources to be able to craft these. Now you're going to be able to go from level 1 to level 50 in just under maybe four and a half hours or so. Uh, so it's obviously a timely process, but it's going to be a much quicker way to get through, say, your last 10 levels if you're level 40 already. But it, to go from 1 to 50, again, maybe four and a half hours maybe an hour if you're already level 40. So let's go ahead and kind of show you how to do this. Now first go to your workshop. Now from here you want to make sure you take everything out of the workshop. So I'm going to take everything out. Now I crafted and uh, built a steamer trunk here. So I'm going to go to the steamer trunk, transfer everything from my junk to the steamer trunk with the exception of a shipment of adhesive cloth glass and oil now you're gonna to have to go out and buy the shipments and you can do them at various vendors throughout the Commonwealth and I'll put in the description a location where you can buy each of these shipments so clear out all of your junk put it into the steamer trunk with the exception of these four materials now what we need is roughly 30,000 oil 15,000 adhesive and glass and about 7,500 cloth but once you put all uh, four of these, again, in the description, there's the locations where you can purchase these. Once you've done that and you have nothing in your junk except for those four items, go back to your workshop and hit transfer. Now on your left tab, you have my inventory. So we're going to scroll over to my junk and we have just the four shipments here. Now our workshop is empty. Now what we need to do is store all junk by hitting the uh, triangle button, which I believe is Y on Xbox controllers. And then as soon as we transfer all the junk, store it all, we have to transfer it all back to uh, your inventory. But you have to do it real quick. So you're going to hit the triangle button to transfer and then have to immediately hit the square button to transfer it back to your inventory. So you will get a stack of 25 of each of these materials and still keep your shipments. Now you can do that over and over. Over. It's going to take you about one hour and 15 minutes to get the uh, 30,000 oil that you need uh, to craft the uh, Molotovs. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to hit triangle and then square immediately. Now I go back into the transfer, go back to my junk, and you can see there's still some items in the workshop, but I still have my shipments and that's the most important thing so when I do it is I hit the triangle button with my thumb and then I kind of roll it simultaneously to the uh, square button so I hit the triangle and roll over to the square button it's literally a millisecond uh, between the button pushes so now that I'm back here store and tra uh, transfer back and then I can just keep doing this over and over so again, you're going to need roughly uh, 30,000 oil. By that point, you're going to have enough of the other resources, so I wouldn't worry about uh, those too much. So again, it's going to take you a little bit over an hour in order to get all the materials necessary. Now, I do recommend you create a save point prior to starting this process, just so you can kind of get the, the timing down and the practice. Uh, if you lose the shipments, you'll have to go out and buy more. So creating a save is not a bad idea. Maybe after you get to 10,000, maybe create another quick save. Uh, just in case, it's always a good idea to create a separate pile or second save file. 
So there you go. You can see I now have, and I'm just going to kind of speed this up here. I'm going to quit here, but I have 325 of each resources, plus I got another 25. So I'm going to go ahead and leave here and then go over, and of course I'm encumbered, go over to a chemistry station. Now in the chemistry station, uh, you have m multiple categories. Under a grenade, you have uh, different recipes. The Molotov cocktail, cocktails, uh, you don't need to have any of the other skills. Demolition experts going to be required in science if you wanted to craft the other ones. The other ones you can do just the same exact method. You just need a different uh, selection of resources. So once you're here, all you need to do is craft them. Now you can see the oil takes four oil for each one of these that you craft. Now you'll get about 13 to 17 or so experience points for each one of these that you craft depending on your intelligence. So max out your intelligence if you can and then wear intelligence uh, enhancing uh, gear, clothing. So that will maximize your experience. So all you need to do is just keep crafting and that's it. Now you're going to have to do this for, if you're starting at level one, for about two and a half hours. Um, so, I mean, it's timely. Obviously, you're probably not going to be starting from level one, so it's going to take a, a lot less than that. Now, occasionally, you're going to get to the point where you're going to be crafting so much and things kind of start lagging. If that happens, you can just exit out uh, of the chemistry station here and then go back in. So simple as that, relatively simple. Uh, so a lot of people have been asking me for a way to uh, kind of get infinite XP real quickly without having to do the Brotherhood uh, of Steel quests. And this method is so much faster than the Brotherhood of Steel. So this will apply to everyone. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button, of course, comment and subscribe.